How many of you guys have been scrolling through Facebook groups and you see these accounts posting printers that they're looking for reviewers? Well, I have, and I contacted one. I'm going to show you guys what happened. So if you guys have ever been scrolling through Facebook groups, you'll know that spamming is kind of a problem. So we have a Creality Facebook group and we have a customer Facebook group and the Creality one gets hit with spammers all the time. A lot of the time tactics that people use is they will just post pictures of printers with captions of looking for reviewers or free printer, that kind of thing. Most of the time, if not all the time, they're scams. Well, today I decided to send them a message and even send them money to see what would happen. Unfortunately, I wasn't expecting the Facebook account to get popped really quick, but I do have screenshots and some things I noticed that were weird with the account, including random pictures of some person. And there's another one here. Now, after I had sent the message asking what these people were, because it's clearly an account that's hijacked, um, they just said, my friend laughing face, you see this one. Um, and then they sent this, which doesn't match. It's like carlos.something at Yahoo. And you can see the username is Karis Tiana or something like that. So I'm just going to go through the chat here. You can see um, I sent them and I, excuse my typos, but I said, hey, I see you're looking for testers for the CRM4. Now the CRM4 is like a thousand dollar printer. And I've dealt with reviews before where we've had to pay for some shipping. So I was kind of like, maybe this is legit. Maybe it's not. We're going to find out. So I'm just giving them information, you know, that we have a YouTube channel, which, you know, you guys are watching it on YouTube right now. I'm um, just establishing that, hey, we know what we're doing and uh, we can give you guys some value, you know, because the thing is, I'll, I'll cover a printer review. Um, I'll be honest, no matter if I get it at a discount or not, but I like doing the reviews. It's fun. So you can see here, uh, he sends me a picture of this or whoever this is. I uh, said, so what are your requirements? It's free for review. We can send your address if you're able to give us a review. You just have to pay shipping costs, confirm your order. So I was like, eh, okay, but I'm gonna keep going because whatever, let's, let's see, because I'm gonna get a PayPal email address, which I can now report to PayPal, which I have, and I'll be following up on that. Um, and the thing is we have a business account too, so you're not supposed to send on friends and family. So I'm covered because the money we sent is backed by their, their guarantee. I send them my address. I ask them, you know, what company you're with. You can see shipping costs is $80. Um, I say, how do I pay? Um, how do I know it's not a scam? And then he says 85. And this is the first time I was like, okay, so he's probably copying pacing or typoed it. And I'm just going to go through the chat here. So you guys can see, this is how they run these scams. And then you'll see, he starts to try to guilt trip me as if I did something wrong. This is a common tactic with scammers. You can see here, I say, can we pay with PayPal? He says, yes, friends and family, you received 24 hours delivery. Um, and I tell him, I can't send friends and family. I only have a business account. And they say, company can only accept friend and family. There is a big red flag there. Um, and then I, I say, okay, how about I send you guys via normal PayPal and I'll give you a couple extra bucks. I'll send you $90 instead of 80 to cover the, the fees because PayPal takes fees. That's fine. I'm going to get a printer to do a video on what's $10 more. Who cares? So then they're telling me stuff about payments being on hold for 21 days. This is a common thing PayPal does if your account's very new. If the account's new, it's probably because they keep having accounts popped and they keep having to make new PayPal accounts. So. I offer another solution here. What if I just send you a prepaid UPS label to send the printer? We can generate labels here. It's not a big deal. You will get it all. I will send you a link as soon as you complete the order. And I was asking what their website was. He sends me an Amazon link, which offers no credibility. I say, uh, do you work for Comgrow? I know they're a Creality reseller. They say, yes, they don't work for Comgrow. So then I send them a screenshot showing that I can't send to friends and family and it will not let me select it. The funny thing is I actually edited the source code for the page. I blocked the element to not show the friends and family to make them think that it's not letting me do it because PayPal did say they're not supposed to do it with business accounts. But anyways, I'm trying to get the buyer protection. So he's scamming me. I'm going to play with him a little bit. So you can see here this David Lim 520 Gmail. That's the first PayPal account and that was a legitimate PayPal account. So I'll be reporting that to PayPal for fraud. And then you can see here he's contacting his other scammers, comes up with this review, Amazon eProduct at gmail.com. 
and send it normally. And then I go ahead and send it. So you can see here, I sent $90 to the email address. And then, you know, I said, hey, I hope we can get to you some sales. Cause here I'm thinking, Meh, maybe it is a legitimate thing and we're gonna get a printer to review. And then you can see here, he's upset because they're holding his funds. And I'm trying to tell him that like, we've dealt with sellers overseas. We use PayPal with them. They have no issues. And at this point, he's just basically guilt tripping me to try to get me to close, to open a dispute now and close it. Now, here's the thing with PayPal. If you open a dispute and then close it, you cannot open up another dispute. And he knows that. And I tell him here, if I open the dispute and cancel it, so they're going to get the money. So if I cancel the dispute, which it's open right now, they're going to get their money and I can't open another dispute. Now, I could try to charge back through my credit card, which I will do if PayPal doesn't close the dispute in our favor. But you can see he's trying to tell me, oh, you can relaunch a case up to three times. And as you can see here, PayPal explicitly tells you, if you close this case, you cannot open up another dispute. So he's lying to me about being able to open it multiple times. So what they're trying to do here is, even though I sent it with the buyer protection, if I open a dispute and then close it, I cannot then now open up another dispute. My only other recourse then, because I did pay with a credit card, would be to open a dispute or a chargeback through my credit card company. And so at this point, I'm screenshotting all these messages just in case the message goes away. And you can see the guy's just like freaking out, sending me like random screenshots with like a WeChat address here. So here's the actual chat and you can see all the stuff here. Um, I'll go ahead and show the screenshots that he provided here. So you can see this here. Um, you can see that we actually sent the money here and it's on hold. So you can see it's on hold until August 23rd. And that's because this is a new account. They probably just set this account up so they can try to get money from people. Now, if I were to send this as friends and family, they would instantly have the funds and I would have no recourse to go back after them to get our money back. So I'm not exactly sure what this is, but this is another screenshot that he sent me from WeChat, I'm guessing. You can see the little messenger bubble here but this doesn't really show anything. These are also probably fake screenshots or fabricated screenshots of different orders where they're sending things out to people. Because you can see here, I said Amazon has a seller dashboard. So if they're legitimately drop shipping stuff from Amazon, which is fine, they will have a seller dashboard where you can see all your inventory and everything. So I said, can you send me a screenshot showing you have a listing for your CR-M4 printer? And now they change their tune. Sorry, you do you not believe, so you not believe, okay, thanks. No need your order. I'm not working you anymore. Okay, thanks for your response. I said, then please send a refund then for the payment. Stop texting me. Are you kidding me? One hours. So the scammer is now frustrated that I've wasted over an hour of his time. And I tell him I'll be reporting this account to Facebook and the PayPal accounts as well. I knew there was a scam. Okay, go, I'm report all group. I said, are you sending me the payment back? Wait, no, are you kidding me? Many times. I said, if this wasn't a scam, you have no issue sending the printout, waiting for the funds to clear. However, even if I somehow lose the $90, it'll make a good video to post on our YouTube and social media channels, warning people about Facebook scammers posting in the groups. So now he's trying to change the tune. I feel like you're cheating me. Wait. Cheater! Coach, come on. Cheater! Coach. By eating your $90, so I won't become a big man. You are not a man, you are a big fat joke. I told you first, it's blocked by PayPal, I won't ship, you better look at it. Told you I'm not a scammer, you're a scammer, I'm a scammer. Oh no. You will get the tracking number within a minute of after canceling the case and your order will be complete. You cannot generate a label in a minute. You're not gonna push through the order and Amazon's instantly gonna give you a tracking number. That's not how it works. It takes time for them to pick the order and actually ship it. So at this point I tell him, here's your option. You ship the printer, like you said, I'll close the case out once I get a legitimate tracking number and see that it was actually picked up. Or two, you just send me the money back. Um, so then he goes, since you cheated on me, I cheated on him, I won't send you anything else. You do what you can. I won't send you the money back and I won't send you your 3D printer. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And I was like, okay, so this is a scam. I'm glad I trusted my gut. I'll forward this chat to PayPal as well, which I already did. And I'll be making a video warning people about you lowlifes because these people are just lowlife pieces of shit. So the funny thing is you can see I reported the conversation here to Facebook. And now if I click the profile, you can see here it's completely gone. 
Um, the other thing too I noticed after all this, before the profile was gone, is the vanity URL is momojwim.russell. So this account is likely an account that was hijacked and the scammers do this a lot where they'll hijack accounts or they'll buy hijacked accounts. They'll change the name and the pictures and then it'll make it look like it's a legitimate account because when you clicked on the account, it actually had posts going back to like 2001. And it also had pictures of, like I showed, just random people that are not Chinese and just stuff that doesn't add up and all these other weird things. So I just want to post this as a PSA. If you guys see people posting in Facebook groups or anywhere for that matter, Facebook groups are where I see this the most, where they're looking for reviewers or looking for people to pay for shipping on a review printer, they're likely running a scam. Every single printer that I have done a review on that was given to us, they paid for everything, including shipping. Now there have been some machines where I've gotten a discount code to purchase it through Amazon, or a couple times there have been cases where I've already worked with the vendor and they've given us money back through PayPal. But again, we've never had people that are like, pay for shipping and we'll send you a printer. The people that are doing this, are scamming you. So if somebody's asking you to send as PayPal friends and family, that's a huge red flag. If they're doing the same thing that this guy did where you send a transaction as a normal transaction and then you open and close the dispute, they're trying to get you so you then can't open another dispute. So as of right now, the dispute's still open. I'll go ahead and issue a chargeback through American Express. If they do not side with us on PayPal, I'd be really surprised if they didn't. And also I will be following up with PayPal tomorrow during their normal business hours because it's almost 4 a.m. as I'm recording this to report those two emails for those accounts. And hopefully then PayPal can look into it and give people their money back that these people have been scamming from. But as you can see, they do a pretty good job of trying to get you to trust them and even had me going for a little while. And I thought at the end of the day, I was like, well, I've got the buyer protection and I can do a chargeback. And at the very least, even if we don't get our 90 bucks back, It'll be a good video to warn other people so you guys don't get ripped off. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And as always, happy printing.